It's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I am back with some more Lightyear toys. These are from the Disney Pixar film Lightyear, which is coming out this summer. And this is all three of the Hot Wheels that have been released so far. They are actually numbered on the back pictures of them, so I guess I have these out of order. That's interesting. I put XL1 before XL15 because that made sense to me, but apparently number one is actually XL15. Number two is XL1 or XL01. And number three is the Zerg fighter ship. So these are pretty cool. They look like rather detailed uh, Hot Wheel cars. They should be die cast. I'm pretty excited to get them open. Now again, the Hot Wheels, so they're probably not gonna do much, but I will show them to you guys. These are made by Mattel for ages four and up. So I'll show you the packaging. This one is the XL15, and this is what I was showing you, or telling you earlier where they were numbered. And we've got the XL1 or 01. I think the back of all of these packagings is actually the same, but I'll show you each of them. Cool, cool, cool. So these are many of the uh, Star Wars Hot Wheels ships, but should be pretty cool. They don't have stands with them, which is interesting, but I think they'll be pretty neat. I thought there might be something to the back of that, but they just have that printed like that. I don't know why. All right, there's another plastic tray that you can pull off and then you can pop the Hot Wheel out. All right. So I am going to take the plastic away from the cardboard on all these, get them all out for you guys. Pretty simple unboxings on these, so that's nice. All right, so. All of them are free. I'll show you everybody up close. So this one is the XL15. It has the yellow windows in here. And it does actually say 15 on the wings in case you forget which one it is. The bottom is mostly blue, but it does have some different dark gray uh, wheels. Uh, coming up. They're not actual wheels, unfortunately, which is, this is super unfortunate for a Hot Wheel because those usually actually have wheels. But these are just the little plastic pegs. They do not fold back into the spaceship either. That is just how they are. So I do kind of wish that they had made those little wheels. That's disappointing for a Hot Wheel. But there is that one. Then we've got the XL1. The one is actually on this spin right here. It's going to be Kind of hard to see from this angle, but hopefully you'll be able to see that. Try to show you all these details in this ship. A lot of stuff going on. We do have the wheels happening here and unfortunately not wheels. They do have more color though. They actually have uh, black for the wheel parts of it, but unfortunately still all the same plastic piece. Then we've got the Zerg fighter ship. And it's purple and green and looks very robotic and a little bit wasp-like, which is interesting because in the show he did have characters called the Hornets, which were his assistants. So I think that's really neat that they did that into the, the design. Uh, it does look like there are a couple of pegs, maybe, maybe these two, that sort of are stands, but not really as far as stands or wheels on this one. And on the slightly larger ships that I have, uh, they didn't have wheel pieces either. They were just stand pieces, so... And that's what we have for those three. So a little bit sad that we don't have actual wheels on these, but other than that, they are pretty fun, pretty good size. They are lighter weight than I was expecting. I think maybe it's part plastic and part die cast. You know, these used to be so much heavier, but they're they're fairly lightweight. Not too bad on sharp edges anywhere. A little bit on some sharp points on the backs here. But other than that, not too bad. No small pieces as far as swallowing issues or anything like that. I mean, basically what you would expect from Hot Wheels. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't had a chance yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below. It is completely free for you guys to do, but really helps support us and encourages us to keep posting videos like this on the channel for you. So 
we appreciate you taking the moment of your time to do that right now. While you're there, you can also hit the thumbs up to leave a like, and you can go check out our channel. We've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun things on there for you guys, and we're always adding new content. Weekdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, except Toy Story Thursdays, which are at 6 p.m. at Central Standard Time. So, be sure to join us again soon, and until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.